Hey guys, the Eggman here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. The last time, we uh, continued through Arbiter's Grounds, and we defeated the mid-boss and got the spinner item. So this time, we are going to uh, see what we can do with this spinner item. So, let's get onto this spinner track right over here, and get off, but there is one more thing we want to do, we can climb up here with the spinner and open up this door and get into this new room and this room is the crazy spinning room cause that's all you're gonna be doing here you can jump side to side with the spinner oh wrong way and we can latch onto this one and this one's going to bring us to this room, or this part of the room right here. Um, so we need to get our bomb arrows ready for this guy. Or you know what? We could just skip right by him. What's in this chest? We got a piece of heart in here. Awesome. So let's get back on the uh, spinner. Ooh, gun. That was close. And jump over here to this side, jump back. Oh, okay, so now we gotta get off and oh come on oh come on come on come on come on oh god that was close all right so let's get on going this way on the spinner and this is going to bring us way over here okay just scratching my nose quickly because it was itchy and down here, what's in this chest? Excuse me. Okay, yellow rupee. And apparently the burn hiccups. Yeah, okay, I was saying apparently that was exactly enough to get us to six hundred rupees. So now our wallet is all filled up again. Um and that just brought us in a circle. Let's try this again. Let's see if I miss something. Man, my nose is all stuffy. I don't know why. Um, here we are. So we got a whole bunch of these spinners over here. Oh. Uh, so one of them hit us. Uh, but you've got to go along this whole path without getting hit by any of the spinners. So let's go like this, go like this. Ah, that was stupid of me. It's kind of stuck there though, it's kind of screwed, couldn't do anything. But let's try this again. Uh, thing I'm gonna get it this time. I believe I can do it. Okay, never mind. There we go, finally. Uh, so pass there and into this room. Where is this gonna bring us? This brings us straight to the big key. I don't know why there's so much suspense before that. The big key chests all look the same. It's not like it's a surprise to see what's coming from there. <coughs> um, but anyways, with that big key, let's move on. And we can see now this uh, shape in the ground. We know we can use our spinner on this. So you just got to keep pressing B. You got a tea bag uh, on the ground right here until the gears spin enough to open up this. Uh, oh. Never mind. Gotta keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Tea bag more link. Here we go. So keep spinning. Don't let go. Keep going. Keep the tea bag up. All right. <clears throat> and now we want to head over here and use our spinner climb all the way up this uh, huge huge massive staircase how high can we go up here all the way to here and we got a ferry over here you could scoop it up if you want but I don't really want to so let's get off over here 
and I did that <coughs> excuse me did that wrong uh... but let's go like this and uh... it's actually uh... you don't sink in the sand when you use your spinner so it's actually very helpful using that um... so i believe we want to get off over here cause there's this yeah there we go there's that little ledge that we could jump on and we want to start the tea bag up again doesn't look like anything's happening but look at this alright so we can latch on over here climb up we're going super fast here oh okay get off before it knocks me back down and right here we got the door to the boss and you know I was going to just end the episode off before the boss because I thought it was going to take longer to do all that stuff but it didn't so you know what we're going to do the boss in this episode Alright, so. Holy crap. Oh god. That's not a good sign. You still live. How astonishing. No wonder some call you the hero. But this is truly a bittersweet reunion. Truly. For I fear this is the last time I will see you alive. And here is one of the coolest bosses in the Zelda series. I think many agree with me on this. This is the Twilight Fossil Stalord. <clears throat> Alright, starting out, let's head back up to the top here. We got some really intense music. And we want to, uh,. Get on this spinner right down here. And head down like this. Okay. And attack him like that. You gotta press B. Uh, when you get to him, man, this music is really loud. It's awesome, but it is very loud. <clears throat> Alright, and we get back up to spinning like this. So, spin around. And watch out for... Oh god, spinner. Watch out for these, uh, Stalords. No, that's the name of the boss. These enemies right here, they're gonna be very annoying and blocking you from getting to Stalord. So... Can we... Can we go like this? We're going like two miles an hour, but it still works. There we go. So break his spine a little bit more. He's gonna get lower and lower to the ground. Okay, here is a spinner coming, so let's get out of the way. Oh man. Whoa! That was close. Okay, can we somehow get through there? Um. Ah! Uh, come on. Right in the way of a spinner. <coughs> Such bad luck. <coughs> okay, jump out of the way of that spinner, and oh, come on. Uh, okay. Stop. 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 Can we get to him? Can we get to him? Oh god. So let's get that hell out of here. Can we use our spinner? No, we gotta gotta get up here before we can use it. So let's try this again. These spinners are ridiculous. 
way too many of them. And they go way too fast. Okay, around these guys. What? I so hit him. B.S. Okay, let's take the route around here. Like, no? Okay. Okay, I'm, I think I'm, I'm seeing how I'm gonna have to do this, even though I've done it before. Um. Uh, but I'm seeing. I know, I know how I'm gonna have to work this out now. It's gonna have to. Ah, uh, these stupid spinners. Okay, come around like this. Oh, I can attack these guys. I didn't know that. Can we, can we get there? Can we get there? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! It's a pretty pathetic hit, but it was still a hit. And there we go. Ah, man, that was difficult. <laughs> but you know, it's uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I got it done. I got it done. It was it was difficult. Uh, usually they explode by now, though, don't they? Um, no, I guess we got to do our spinner thing right here. Uh, let's see what happens when we do this. Okay, get the tea bag on. Where's our heart container, anyways? Aren't we supposed to get one of those when we finish the boss? Oh, this is a little bit strange. Maybe that's why we didn't get our heart container. We have not actually defeated the boss yet. Uh, so I was trying to be uh, trying to be secretive there. Like I didn't know uh, what was happening. Like we, I thought we already defeated the boss, but I, I'm pretty sure I did a terrible job of that. <clears throat> I'm not an actor at all, so yeah, it was probably awful. My uh, trying to hide the uh, trying to hide that I knew that we hadn't defeated the boss yet. What? God. Okay, so for the second part of this boss, we gotta latch onto the wall here, spin up, and we gotta just keep going until we get to him. He's gonna be right here, then he's gonna shoot a fireball at us. So we gotta jump out of the way of that. So keep jumping out of the way, and I was, the previous time I was too late. No! Alright, that's what you want to do. Um, so you gotta do. Uh, wait till you get up close to him. And then. Uh, and then you got to jump into his face with the spinner. <coughs> so. I kind of failed at that. I've been failing quite a bit this episode and this recording session uh... but now we gotta watch out for those spinners coming at us too like this guy right here so you can jump to this side and then jump back and here we are here's the ugly guy jump back and forth like we were doing out of the way of the fireballs and then jump into his face. There we go. And let's attack him again. You know what that thing in his head reminds me of? It reminds me of the guy from Skyward Sword, like that imprisoned guy with that thing in his head. That looks a lot like that. But with that, now no joke this time, we have truly defeated the Twilight Fossil Star Lord. Alright Link, let's go.
We're close to the Mirror of Twilight. Alright, but first, let's collect this heart container. And now we have 12 uh, hearts to live on. We've got this awesome music, and let's head to that Mirror of Twilight, see if we can finally go into the Twilight Realm and defeat Zend. But, not before saving. Alright, we're back to the uh, music from the Garuda Desert. But, let's, uh, let's head up here. Up the staircase. And over here. And see where this brings us. We saw on the outside there was a huge structure. And we can see now we are right in the middle of this uh, huge structure that we saw from outside now. In the mirror chamber. Alright, so we got one of these... Uh, warp thingies so we'll do this quickly uh, just doing that okay there we go so let's transform into a wolf to make this easier uh, three guys over here let's take all of them on except there's one I, d I think there's five in total so this guy's gonna scream them all back to life yeah but let's see if we can get all five of them inside okay come on I had it there okay apparently these two lived but if we go like this oh come on why didn't why didn't he attack him what the hell game hates me okay no uh, I hate these things okay attack these three and then let's go and attack these two apparently attack some keys along the way also and with that finally we unlock this warp portal so we can now uh, warp back to the mirror place anytime, the mirror chamber. So let's transform back into a human and grab these hearts because we suck at this game. Um, no, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me. And we can spin her up uh, this snake thing, which is actually pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty awesome uh, spinner platform, this one and get into place here and start teabagging again and let's see what happens dark entity, entity lurks in the twilight. It houses an evil power. You, who are guided by fate, you, who possess the crest of the goddesses, hear us. At the command of the goddesses, we sages have guarded the mirror of twilight since ancient times. You seek it, but the mirror of twilight has been fragmented by mighty magic. That magic is a dark power that only he possesses. His name is...
Ganondorf. He was the leader of a band of thieves who invaded Hyrule in the hopes of establishing dominion over the sacred realm. He was known as a demon thief, an evil magic wielder, renowned for his ruthlessness. But he was blind. In all of his fury and might, he was blind to any danger, and thus was it he exposed, subdued, and brought to justice. Yet. <laughs> By some divine prank, he too had been blessed with the chosen power of the gods. His abiding hatred and lust for power turned into purest mal malice. Perhaps that evil power has been passed on to Zant. You're just now figuring out where Zant got his power? It's far too late. Only the true leader of the Twilight can utterly destroy the Mirror of Twilight, so Zant can merely break it to pieces. Once broken by magic, the Mirror of Twilight became fragments, which even now lie hidden across the land of Hyrule. One is in the Snowy Mountain Heights. One is in an ancient grove. And one is in the heavens. You have been passed. You, you have been sent by the goddesses. You should be able to gather the three pieces. But you must be prepared, for a dangerous power resides in those fragments. 